Okay, this installment is going to look specifically at problems that occur within the atria. So if we're looking at our heart, we have our two atria on the top, and then we have our two ventricles down on the bottom. So when we're talking about atrial dysrhythmias, we're talking about an issue that's occurring up here within the atrial space. So we're looking at an issue up here, either at the SA node, or maybe it's extending through those internodal pathways that wrap around and catch up at the AV node. So th that's where the problem exists, is somewhere, somewhere in that internodal pathway or somewhere along the atria where it's trying to come around and connect into the AV node and we've got some sort of irritability on different spots of the internodal pathways and that's what an atrial fibrillation is. You have several different spots on those internodal pathways that think they can do the job better than the SA node and here's the little SA node and he's up here and he's like what's going on I don't understand. So the SA node is going to do what it can to continue doing its job but all the while you got all kinds of other places along that internodal pathway that try to take over. They think that they can do the job better than the SA node. So when we talk about this you're going to find what you we know we're going to do like we always do. We're going to figure out the rate first. One, two, three, four, five. So we have a heart rate of 50. We're going to look at the rhythm. And when you're bouncing through here, you're wanting to look and you're wanting to see, oh, that's huge. Does that even match that previous one? It does not. And then this one is completely different from any of the others altogether. So when you look at these, you're like, oh, this is completely irregular. There is no pattern, there is no hiccup. It is completely irregular. So we have to understand what's going on or what's causing that much irregularity as you're walking through. So you're gonna find what you recognize. We always start by finding a QRS complex and we're gonna look before it. And we're like, holy crap, what is all this? And then you look here and you're like, well, let's compare it against something else. And then you're like, oh, well, let's look at this. None of these have the same appearance. There's no pattern. There's no sawtooth. Each one of these looks completely different than the other batch. So each of those look different, even including here, because you've only got two here. And then look here. This one looks different from any of the others. So when you're looking at an EKG strip and you see all this, this quivering between the QRS, the T wave, and then you have quivers, that tells you that there are irritable spots all along that internodal pathway and it's quivering. The heart is actually quivering. It's fibrillating. So that's why they refer to this as atrial. We know it's atrial because you have all these little, sorry I'm trying to write that, we have all of these little random looking P waves the little squigglies, it looks like if we didn't have the QRS complex, we could almost say that was V fit. But because we have these little irregular squigglies, we know that the atria is trying to do something. The QRS is narrow, the atrias are trying to do something, but they're completely erratic. The big key with atrial fibrillation is that it is the one rhythm that is completely irregular. So this is atrial fib at a rate of 50. Uh, it is definitely below 100, so we would consider this controlled AFib. You would want to look at your patient and see if you have any uh, serious signs or symptoms, if there's something to, to warrant you trying to care for this as a bradycardia, because this is a heart rate of 50. So if they show signs of uh, symptomatic bradycardia, you would have to, to consider how your treatment is going to be for this. But just remember when you're looking for atrial fib, when you're comparing one against the next, they're all going to look completely different. The R to R intervals are going to be completely irregular. There's no pattern whatsoever. And your atrias are going to have quivers all the way through. There's not going to be one solid pretty P wave. It's going to be very erratic. And that's how you diagnose an atrial fib.